So Leute und damit ein herzliches Willkommen zurück zu Zero Escape, 9 Hours, 9 Persons, 9 Doors. Im letzten Part hat uns Seven vor den, von den Ereignissen von vor 9 Jahren berichtet und dabei erzählt, dass Akane, ein Mädchen namens Akane gestorben ist. Und mal schauen, was passiert denn nachdem ähm, dieser Junge, dieser Student, das in diesen Incinerator rumgegangen ist. Schönes Bild. <lacht> Um, um, uh, can I ask you one more thing? What's that? The girl, Akane. What was her last name? What does it matter to you? Just, just tell me, okay? Please? Kurashiki. What's up? B, hä? Was? Her name was Akane Kurashiki. You, wasn't it? Yes, it was. You are correct, Detective. Don't misunderstand me. I told you before how Zero threatened me. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't say anything about what happened nine years ago. So you're saying you're not working for Zero, right? Of course not. Clover, what about you? Hey, come on! You really think I'm working with Zero? I told you before, you idiot! I was in Nevada, in Building Q. I did hear that a detective rescued the kids on the boat, but... I didn't know it was you! Well, I guess I believe you. Alright, let me ask you another question. Santa's real name is Aoi Kurashiki. He's Akane's brother. You know that? No! No, I didn't, did you? Well, yes. I know Aoi Kurashiki was her brother. But I didn't know he was Santa. At least not from the beginning. Nine years ago, he was in the middle of puberty. His voice is entirely different now. I'm ashamed to say that even my exceptional hearing wasn't able to make that connection. As such, I had no reason to think Santa was Aoi. When did you figure it out? Clover told me that Santa might have been one of the subjects of the initial experiment. It was only a short while ago, while we were leaving the library. When she told me that, I had a... feeling. Santa is Aoi? Akane Kurashiki, June's brother? There's still a lot we don't know. I mean, like, a lot, a lot. But there is one thing I think we can say we know. What's that? The body we found in the shower room. It had to be Nijisaki, dressed up to look like Snake. What? Come on, man, what kind of detective are you? You didn't figure that out already? Hey, go easy on me, man. I just got my memory back, all right? Got me some slack. Hmm. Well, if he is, the three murders make sense then, don't they? Yeah, that's right. Murder. Kubota blew himself up, but that was murder too. So why did these murders take place? If Junpei is correct, and the body in the shower room was Nijisaki's, that means all of the people who were murdered were involved with the creation of the Nonori Project. Kubota, the person who conducted the actual experiments. Nijisaki, Hongo's assistant. Musashido, the man who financed the project. You mean this was all just revenge? Santa is zero. He's getting revenge for the death of his sister. That's why he killed them. No, I, I don't think Santa actually murdered anyone. If I'm right, then it's not hard to figure out who the next victim's gonna be, is it? 
I'm pretty sure I don't have to tell you. Yes. Yeah. Right. The next target will begin Taro Hongo. The person who planned the Nonary Project. In other words, Ace. What? Wh what the hell's going on here? It must be 6 a.m. Our time is up. Shit! Come on, we need to get out of here. How? I'm betting this sucker opens the exit. Come on, let's go. New material has been added to the file screen. Keycard zero. Was war denn zum file screen hinzugefügt? Achso. Ja, okay. Das Bild. Gut, wo war die Ausgangstür? Ehrlich, wo waren die? Das war sie. Alright, let's just swipe this card. Jumpy, look! It's unlocked. Yeah, now we can go back to the library. Hurry up, Jumpy, we don't have time. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Und wahrscheinlich ein letztes Mal für dieses Projekt. You found it. Huh. I think the shaking stopped. It would seem so, but we are yet to be out of danger. You're right. Let's hurry. This exit needs the Uranus card too. Hey, Junpei. Yeah, I know. All right, it's open. Let's go. Okay, Neptune Key. Let's see if you work. Yes! Oh, I think it unlocked. It says incinerator. So this is the incinerator. This is the first time I've seen it from this side, but yeah, I think so. Then there ought to be a lever near the door. Yeah, right here. Pull that and the door should open. Got it. Let's go. What the hell is going on? What's wrong? Are you okay? Jumpy. You came to get me. Of course I did. I made a promise. I'm so glad you're here. So glad. Hey, what happened to you? I'm fine. I just fainted. I wasn't feeling very good. I'm feeling a lot better now, though. Are you sure? Yes. I just need to rest a little longer. I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. You shouldn't worry about me. Santa. Hey, where is it? Where's the gun? You hiding somewhere? I don't have it. I got sucker punched and they took the gun. What? Who took it? What? Isn't that obvious? I took the gun. Ace. What? Just what the hell do you think you're doing, Ace? Or maybe I ought to say Gintaru Hongo, CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. You have me at a disadvantage, and I don't like that. You know me, but I don't know you. Do you have any idea how much I've suffered? Can you even begin to understand my pain? The pain of prosopagnosia, right? <laughs> Another irritating insect. And how do you know that, hmm? Good question. No matter. If you don't want to answer, it makes no difference to me. This is a waste of time, anyway. It's time for me to go. First is one. Give me your hand. Eight. And with this... Nine. The ninth man. 
Kubota's bracelet. I believe I've won this game. I've had quite a time playing with you. I must thank Zero, I suppose. Wait, what? Ace doesn't know who Zero is. Uh, uh. What the hell are you playing, Santa? At any rate, this game ends now. I will escape, and the rest of you will have a slightly less pleasant ending. I suggest you enjoy your final moments. Goodbye. Wait! What? Why isn't it opening? <sighs> One more time. Yeah. <laughs> now open! No! What is this? Why? That digital root should be nine! It has to be nine! Then why? Why isn't it opening? Now! Yeah! No. <laughs> Endlich! <laughs> oh. Uh. oh, that was close. Too close. Thank you, Seven. Don't mention it. Just one punch ain't enough for this piece of shit. After what he did nine years ago, I oughta rip him to pieces. But if a suspect can't talk, they ain't much good. Once he's locked up in a cell, we're gonna have a little chat. Nine years ago? Uh, then you must be... Yeah, you finally figured it out, dumbass. Oh. <sighs> Ace, you killed Kubota, Nijisaki, and Musashido, didn't you? Wait, Nijisaki? Oh, right. You don't know yet. All right, we'll just go through them in order then. Let's start off with Kubota. You talked to Kubota and managed to convince him to go into door five alone. You killed him without making it look like you killed him. The way I figure it, you had four motives. One. In the Nonary game, the number nine is dangerous. Whoever had the nine bracelet could join whatever team they wanted. Adding nine to any number doesn't change the digital root, which means that number nine could do whatever they wanted. You wanted to remove that threat as soon as possible. Two, you wanted the number nine bracelet for yourself so that you could make use of its power. In fact, you did use it in the murder of Niji Saki. Three, even if his number hadn't been nine, Kubota was a problem. He knew your past. He knew what had happened nine years before. You needed to silence him before he told anyone. Four. But last, and perhaps the most disturbing, you used Kubota as a test. You wanted to know how serious this nonary game was. Was it truly life or death or simply a harmless prank? You convinced him to break the rules so you could see what would happen. That was why you killed Kubota. But he was only the first. Next was Nijisaki. While everyone was off looking for the missing parts for the Reds, you ran into Nijisaki near the big hospital room. However, because of your prosopagnosia, you didn't realize he was Nijisaki. Chiefly because, when you met him, he was dressed like Snake. That was why you thought Nijisaki was Snake. No, that, that's not... That was Nijisaki? Why? How did... I'll get to that. Anyway, you thought he was Snake. Snake was one of the kids in your experiment nine years ago. You remembered him because he was the blind kid, but his presence made you think. Snake was one of my subjects nine years ago. He probably hates me. But if that's true, why isn't he saying anything? Is he keeping quiet because he can't see? Or perhaps he's working with Zero to get revenge on me. Whatever the reason, anyone who knows my past is a threat. Before he tries anything, I need to get rid of him. That was when you decided you had to kill him. The murder weapon was Kubota's bracelet. You just waved it over the red. 
verified your own number and then grabbed Nijisaki's arm and forced it over the scanner panel. Then, when the door opened, you kicked him in. Nine seconds later, the door closed. And then 81 seconds passed. And poor Nijisaki was dead. And you mean to say, Snake is still alive? Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm as good as new. <laughs> Thank you for killing the wrong man. But I can't say I like knowing that you wanted me dead. Although, to be honest, even if you hadn't tried to kill me, I would still hate you very much. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't blame you. Last but not least, let's talk about Musashido's death. When Clover and I were investigating the chart room, you came over to talk to me. Do you remember what you said? Oh, a pocket watch. Might I take a look at it? I handed it to you, and you left the room. You had been in charge of the Nonary Project. Of course you would have known the solution to every puzzle. Which would mean that you also knew how to get out of the wheelhouse. All you had to do was place the watch in the indentation on the door to unlock it. With the door open, you could enter the captain's quarters. Musashido was there. Conveniently placed next to him was an axe that practically begged you to kill him with it. You picked up that axe and buried the blade deep in the other man's chest. One blow was all it took. And then you returned to the chart room as if nothing had happened. There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? I had no reason to say no, so I followed you to the wheelhouse. When we stepped inside, remember how you slipped your hand into my vest? You pulled out a piece of paper, the one I used to cheat during the vote. But that wasn't really what you were after. Your true purpose had been to slip the watch into my pocket. It wasn't a very good plan. Had way too many holes, and someone saying the wrong thing could have brought it all down around you. You must have been desperate. But what made you willing to risk it all to do it? Ace. Musashido's murder is the only one I don't understand. You obviously did it. But why? Because of this. What's with the paper? Just... read it. Huh. Let's see. Number one. There are two ways you might survive this ordeal. The first is to win the nonary game. The second is for you to confess your sins of nine years past. I have prepared a camera in the captain's quarters. The images captured by that camera will be streamed through a satellite and distributed across the world. Simply look into the camera and repent. Once you have confessed everything, I will release you from this ship. To make your confession more credible, I have left you a witness in the captain's quarters. Perhaps he will confess with you. The decision is yours. Do as you please. Zero. <laughs> when I awoke in that room on D-Deck, I found that in my pocket. Hmm. That was why I chose door one when we voted. If I went through that door, I knew I could get to the captain's quarters. As you said, I knew how to enter the wheelhouse. My plan was to find the pocket watch before anyone else. If I could, then my alibi would be set. <coughs> Gesundheit. At least, that was the plan. Unfortunately for me, you got to it first. That sleight of hand was the best I could manage on short notice. You meant to kill him from the beginning then? <laughs> uh, Musashido, I mean. I only knew Musashido was the witness after I reached the captain's quarters. I asked him, and he answered. He seemed groggy. Perhaps he had only just awoken from sedation. I suppose Nijisaki was in much the same state. He seemed confused and disoriented when I encountered him. But yes, you are correct. I intended to kill him from the beginning, even though I didn't know who he was. I proceeded to the captain's quarters in order to remove this so-called witness. Ace, you figured it out, haven't you? You were being manipulated. Yes, so it would seem. I was little more than a puppet. 
in many ways. Und was das zu bedeuten hat, das erfahren wir im nächsten Part. Ich hoffe, dieser Part hat euch gefallen und ich sage Tschüssi Koski. Bye bye.